and you're the only person I know that's actually declined to join the Grateful Dead. What actually, <laughs> what's ha what actually happened? Because the Grateful Dead initially had an incredible keyboard player yeah. they, that passed away, Pigpen. And they have had multiple other keyboard players that unfortunately also passed away. A dear friend of Jerry Garcia's was a dear friend of mine, Chesby Millican, a fine Irish chap. And he was also a dear friend of Charlie's, uh, Charlie Watts. But um, he called me up one day and said, Mark, I got a gig for you. That's how he talked. And uh, he said, with the Grateful Dead, I went, oh, I, did, I never liked the Grateful Dead. See, I thought they were lucky to be alive. You know. <laughs> I never liked the music, and maybe I missed out, but he said, look, forget about all that. He said, they'll pay you a quarter of a million dollars, he said, a year. All you're going to do, you can live anywhere you like. And I was living in L.A. at that time and looking to move. Um, he said, just, they'll send you a tape, you'll play along on the song, send it back, and then, you know, they're sending these to several keyboard players. So I was on vacation in San Diego at the time with my wife and dog. And, uh, so she went out shopping and I went out to a record store, bought a Grateful Dead CD, put it in the player, and I'm sitting in this motel, and she came back, and I was sitting there so miserable. She said, man, what's the matter, what's wrong? I said, I can't play this stuff. It just doesn't appeal to me. So she said, damn it. So really I just turned down the opportunity mm -hmm. to apply for the gig. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you missed anything? Or no, no, I can't, you know, I've been asked to do a lot of sessions uh, and tours that I just can't do. I just don't feel the music. I'm in this for the fun. 